Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Nayeli and for today's video, I'm going to be going a little bit out of what I normally post on this channel. Still kind of within the theme of shopping. Today I'm kind of going more through like a shopping haul that I have done throughout this past month basically. And they are from items that I have bought from estate sales or from Facebook marketplace. And <laughs> I'm so excited because I haven't really shared with you guys that I have recently recently started to collect some fine china and because I'm so new to it I've only been doing it for about a year and I say that I'm new to it even though I've only been doing it for a year because I'll just randomly have like the spur of like oh I want to go to an estate sale I want to go shopping this weekend so we go and then we try to find some things maybe we find some maybe we don't and then it kind of just happens that way or like I end up going on Facebook marketplace or sites like OfferUp to try to find something that catches my eye and if the price is right then I decide to contact the seller and meet up and, and purchase the china basically and so it's not like I'm constantly shopping for these items it's more so in the spur of the moment that I decide that I want to purchase some fine china and so then I decide what is the plan am I gonna go to some garage sales? Am I going to go to an estate sale? Am I going to shop for these things online? And by online, I basically mean Facebook Marketplace or sites like OfferUp. Not really something where something's going to get shipped to me um, because then I feel like the risk of breaking items is a lot higher. So I don't really want to put myself through the sadness of opening up a box and it being shattered. It's not like I'm purchasing these things every single week. So I don't have that many pieces of china because it's so on and off for me to do this hobby i don't really know that much about you know the years that certain things were made and like their values what brands are the ones to look out for and things like that like i recognize some brands for sure um but i can't really tell you which one's better than the other and all that kind of stuff. I more so just do this for fun and I ultimately buy things that catch my eye. I think that I personally feel kind of connected to and I'm like, I can't go home without this. It needs to be in my collection for the future because the, that's the other thing is that all the things that I'm buying, I'm basically put, putting them away in like bags and boxes, <laughs> trying to keep them safe for my next place where I'm going to be living in because at the moment, at the moment, um, my boyfriend and I are renting and so this is all basically like purchases for the future because I essentially want all this to be shown off in a china cabinet which is also something. I need to find a nice china cabinet that will fit with like the theme that I'm going and things like that so this is very much like a work in progress for me and it's fun. It's it's just enjoying it. Ever since I was a little girl, I remember that I love like those little cute little porcelain tea sets and I remember like whenever I would see one, I would uh, try to get my hands on it. So I had like a few when I was a child. So now it totally makes sense that I'm still kind of obsessed with China. <laughs> Anyways, let me just go ahead and start by showing you guys what I found. Because I got the two, the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is because I got some really nice deals. But I will start probably with a bang. I am like obsessed. Obsessed. This one I didn't find at an estate sale. This I actually purchased through Facebook Marketplace. I was just scrolling around the area and I happened to find this set. It's one, two, three, four, five. It consists of five pieces. So it has the cup and the saucer which go together like this and I also have this one right here which is either a butter plate or a salad plate I'm thinking it's probably butter because I think butter plates are supposed to be smaller again don't quote me on that because I don't know that much about this stuff and then we have this other one right here which to me seems to be more of like a soup one um, but it's a lot larger in size compared to the next biggest thing that I have, which is this one. Sizing is a lot different. Finally, this massive guy right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so huge compared to all the other ones. I 
like fell in love when I saw this and actually the dinner plates I don't think the seller had these for me beforehand but she happened to find them while I was like on my way <laughs> so she was able to find them and she gave all of this to me for the price of $40 but it's not just this it's um, I want to say about six of each item so six cups six saucers six all of the other things I think for the dinner plates right now that I counted it I only counted four but I don't know maybe I counted it wrong which is fine I wasn't even expecting to get the dinner plates at all I am just in awe of how beautiful these plates are well this whole china set is and you know I want to call it a set because I have the majority of the things I wasn't really given like a pitcher a sugar container things like that things that you may also find in the entire set or like a platter um, which is okay I'm, I'm honestly okay with in terms of decorations I would definitely not use the whole set as a decoration because the way that I'm thinking of decorating a china cabinet once I have a home <laughs> an actual home where I can put these things in I am planning for my china cabinet to be kind of mismatched that's the way that I want to decorate it you know and, and even my whole vision for a house later on is not for things to be just one color or two colors like I want it to be mismatched but not in like a crazy way I mean I want different colors but still muted so it doesn't look it's weird it's hard to explain because at the moment I still don't even have the clear vision of what that's gonna end up looking like but when it comes to a china cabinet and the way that I'm gonna put all that together it's gonna be mismatched basically <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys some of the things a little bit closer in detail so this is the little cup It has so much detail, it even has like the silver stripe kind of going down and then disappearing along the bottom all around. You will also see two of those silver lines and of course the beautiful design of the flower here. Which kind of looks like a peony to me but unsure. Um, it doesn't have any design in the, on the inside which is fine. I love when they have a design on the inside but this is okay. It's still immensely beautiful. And this is from Lily. It's Fine China Made in China by Yongshen. And I'll show you guys this as well. When I went to look up this brand online, um, there's this website that I go on to kind of compare the pricings before I purchase certain things if I really care about the quality and the authenticity. And they even sell things on the website too, so it's kind of nice. And I'm able to compare based off of how much they sell them on that website to know like, oh, okay, it, it really is worth this much or oh wow, I got this much saving off, off of it. Not so much the age because sometimes they'll have the year there but sometimes they won't. So for that, I kind of have to do more research. Honestly, I haven't done that much research on this specific set. But I got, as I said, the entire set for $40. Essentially like about 30 items for or the cost of $40 when you know this is considerable fine china I mean I don't know exactly how far this designer and creator of this fine china goes back to so I'm not really sure just how expensive it truly is um, but I'm pretty sure that it's more than the $40 so just in and of itself I know that it is something that is worth it and of course as time goes on and you preserve these things then the value of them also goes up so I am just ugh, immensely immensely excited and I'm sorry that I'm kind of all over the place and not really explaining everything as well as I probably should but I'm just so excited I'm trying to um, explain things as best as I can but anyways for the color of this one it's not like a full-on white to me it almost it, it doesn't even seem like ivory I don't know if you guys can tell from the actual art in here it has a green from the leaves so to me in my eyes it almost seems like 
the actual plates and the, and the dinnerware has like the slightest hint of green on it. Now I'm not entirely sure whether it does or not, but I'm just gonna say that it does. To me, it seems like it does because it's not a full on white. I can even compare it to um, another set that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. And that one is, is white. So it's an off white or an almost the lightest bit of green. I don't know, but there it is. And it's immensely beautiful. This one right here, which I think is more of like a soup plate. Of course, they all have the brand right here. The little saucer is a little bit different because it doesn't have the design of the center. It's still super beautiful. And I mean, I think the reason why they did this is more so because they just probably thought like, well, what's the point of putting something here in the middle when it's literally, um, it's literally just gonna go over it, so kind of what's the point. Some plates will have a design on them and some may not as, as far as like the little saucers go. But yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this one. And I find this set to be a little bit different from other sets I've found in the past um, because a lot of them are just gonna be like white and then have some flowers of a specific color and that's kind of it. But I feel like I never see this style of flower these colors it just gives me like some calmness and serenity i am like in love with it and i'm also so excited because this one was made in china a lot of china that you may find there are a lot of european brands that come out with these fine china and so it's kind of funny that it's like oh fine china made in england fine china from germany <laughs> when the realest realest fine china comes from china so this i believe is the very first set or just pieces of fine china that i have that come from china that were made over there so i'm immensely excited whether the pricing of it is very high or not, I mean, I honestly don't care. As I said before, I just go for whatever I'm drawn to by the eye. I love designs that are more on the simpler side, dainty and delicate. Literally is like the type of <laughs> vibe that I've been into recently. And who knows if it'll change later on, but for now, I, I adore these types of very dainty, very delicate designs and objects. So yeah, I I think, I, I feel like I hit a home run with this. Don't know the price of it. Again, I don't think it matters truly that much, but I feel like I got a really good price for this and I didn't mind at all paying the $40 for it when sometimes, you know, depending on the things that you get, of course, depending on the brand, you may pay $20 just for the cup and saucer. Like, in some some places will sell like just this for $20. So to be able to have essentially 30 pieces of um, dinnerware for $40, I think is amazing. So I'm over the moon just with this set on its own. And my day was made when I got that, but there was still more excitement to come. I'm actually showing these to you out of order, but I actually purchased another set before this one, which I thought was beautiful and amazing. And then I happened to purchase this, this one that I just showed you guys, the Lily one. So <laughs> I bought uh, two sets of China within the same day, within like an hour of each other. So <laughs> it was really funny. This next one that I'm gonna show you guys, um, I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace as well, but it, it was actually from a seller who owns a thrift store. So I actually didn't even realize that I was going to a thrift store until I like put in the actual address. And even then the, the seller was telling me, we'll be here until such and such time. And I was like, okay, like can you wait like five more minutes if I'm not, if I don't get there on time? Cause I was getting there like really close to the time that they were gonna close. So it was really funny. <laughs> Um, and, but I still hadn't put two and two together until I mapped it out and I was like, oh, this is a thrift store. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> They're not going to wait five more minutes for me. So um, luckily I was able to make it in time. And I found these uh, this also very, very beautiful um, set from the brand No. Okay, initially I was reading this brand as Noritake. 
um, reading it in English. However, I'm not fully sure if it's Japanese or Chinese. I wanted to say it was Japanese um, because I've seen other pieces from this brand and then they say Japan on the bottom. Um, but maybe they just have manufacturers all over the world because this specific one says Sri Lanka on the bottom. So I don't know if you pronounce it Noritake, Noritake, Noritake. I have no idea. But so I'll just show you guys the name of the brand first. This is right here. I hope y'all can see it. It is this blue type of style, which is also what the seller called it. When I started this whole journey, I wa that's that's exactly what I was going for, like the Liberty Blue type of, or just you know white and blue, very classic look, and it's hard to find, and it's very expensive. So, and and even with this one right here, it was also pricey because they were selling the items on their own, um, individually, and. Um, honestly, I can't even tell you how much each certain thing was. I don't remember even though it was only like two or three weeks ago. Um, but overall, with the things that I purchased from this mini set, um, I ended up paying about $30 to $35. And the only thing is compared to the other set is that I only got two of each thing. Whereas with my Lily one that I showed you guys previously, I got like six of each thing so the price point was very different and it kind of just goes to show uh, just how much or how little you can pay for China depending on where you look and um, the actual seller it, it really just depends and how much homework they do as well because sometimes a lot of the times they'll also be doing their homework and they'll be um, looking online and doing the price comparisons kind of how I do it as well and they're able to ask for more for certain things and like I said this is a pretty well-known brand so I totally understand that it's gonna be more expensive like I've seen full sets of this brand but I think like maybe the Japanese one I don't know I don't know how often or how much you see of the Sri Lanka one but I've seen other types of nori take of the nor the one that's like of this one <laughs> of the one that starts with an end this one I've seen full sets of the of this brand and they go for like upwards of $200 even then like sometimes you'll find them for even much more than that like hundreds of dollars um, of course depending on the year that they were created how well preserved they are the seller and all that stuff so um, for this specific one I was just over the moon as well to have found the beautiful white and blue style that is here I only got two items of each as I mentioned I kind of showed you the cup a little bit um, but it has basically the silver line on the top it also has two of the silver lines here along the sides of the handle and it has these two lines along the sides of the holder and along the bottom it has a really thin line here very very cute design going like this and then a thicker line here on the bottom and on the inside it does not have a design totally okay with that Anyways, this is this one right here, the little saucer that comes with the cup. And I thought it was just blue, and but some of the flowers, like the, you know how it has three flowers around here? The two on the sides are kind of like a purpley lilac, and then the middle one is a darker blue. And then the silver lining right here along the side, oh, also has a silver lining on the outer edge as well. It's just insanely beautiful. I'll show you the rest. This, um, I think it was probably more like a salad plate. When I went to purchase this, they had already bought out the dinner plates, which is what I wanted. So I basically got the next larger in size. And then, y'all ain't ready for this. <laughs> and then I got this huge platter. It is like freaking huge it's like two or three the size of my head but it is 
absolutely beautiful i can just foresee this being like on the center of my china cabinet i think for the platter on its own i remember paying about 12.99 for and then the rest of the pieces were i don't know somewhere less than that but yeah of course there it only comes with one platter i didn't want to purchase too many things because I was also planning on purchasing this other set of the Liling uh, Fine China, so that is why I did that. But yeah, I am just like over the moon excited that I was able to purchase this. I have kind of satiated or like filled my wants of purchasing the white and the blue china it is finally mine it is literally in my hands so i'm really happy about that and these are like my two major sets that i bought honestly at all like the other uh, the other pieces that i bought have been just teacups and saucers the reason why it's also a little bit easier for me to find these pieces is because a lot of these people work in the military and either have spouses or people in their lives who are interested in the fine china so they are able to purchase these whenever they are stationed in certain cities or countries for that matter so they are able to gather these pieces of fine china for them that is like one of the more inexpensive ways that you can find a lot of these things not just fine china but just things in general that you know, furniture and, and things like that um, not necessarily just through estate sales but you know also um, on Facebook marketplace like I mentioned before I think is a really great option although what I would like to say about Facebook marketplace or whenever you are trying to go on these websites online and meeting up with someone I would always say to tread with caution I would recommend going with someone and if you're not able to at least um, be in contact with someone while you are going to meet up with these people because thank god I, like nothing's ever happened to me but in the case that it did like i want to make sure that i am you know safe and protected so i always text my boyfriend or whoever um just let somebody know where you're going um how long you may be out and tell them when you're on your way back home so that people know where you're at because while purchasing these things from a seller um, can seem like a really easy and good idea unfortunately there are people out there who may not have the best intentions so i would 100 percent recommend either going with someone or telling someone before and after you leave these places um, just to ensure security for yourselves it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman what age you are I think that we it, it's always good to at least be uh, cognizant of our surroundings and of the realities of life so um, I would not want any one of you guys to um, be affected by something like this um, luckily I haven't either but I also try to take caution it doesn't matter if you live in a safe city um, town or whatever like something anything can happen to anybody at any given time so I would 100% recommend to to take those precautions and that's more so for when you're purchasing these things online if you're going to an estate sale or things like that obviously um, you're going to someone's home there's more than likely more people there so the risk there is not as high as if you were going to meet up with someone it's always good to keep that in mind with that being said I wanted to share with you guys some estate sale finds and these aren't necessarily like fine china or anything i can't even see like the name of the brands but i found this really good deal on a separate weekend that we did some shopping and they had a lot of stuff they had already um had the estate sale probably for about two weeks so it was very limited by the time that we ended up going like, there was this big big box that said glasses for one dollar and i was like oh my god does this mean that like the everything in this box is a dollar or you have to pay like a dollar for each individual thing i was like no i think it means the whole box is a is a dollar <laughs> so i was super excited like i went in there and i looked um and they actually had these cute little cups so the glasses that i had for a dollar were a bit of a mix the majority of them were small and they looked like this it doesn't have a name brand on it so i don't really know what 
brand they come from. I don't really mind. I got them for a dollar, so it's okay. And then they also, there were also a few of these, a larger sized ones. It almost seems like you could put a candle on. These are so big. They're dirty, so I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to be using them yet, so that's why I haven't really touched that box ever since I bought it. Which has only been a couple weeks, so it's fine. And then separately, I saw a... A set of about one, two, three. I don't know if it's about if it was about seven or eight of these beautiful little glasses, but I had never seen glasses like these. And oh my goodness, let me kind of move out of the way so that you guys can see it a little bit better and appreciate its beauty. Um, it is so simple. It's very short compared to other glasses. Um, that I've seen, you know, because they all normally are kind of longer But as far as the space for the actual wine is probably about the same. But anyways, let me move out of the way again <laughs> And that is this beautiful little wine cup right here. I saw it. It was down kind of looking this way and I just fell in love with these almost bead-like a little structure here on the bottom. It's very unique. I've never seen anything quite like it. And I just thought, like, I that is so beautiful. I need to have it, you know? So <laughs> that is the reason why I purchased this one. It was a set of about eight for $2, which I was like, okay i think the reason why everything was so cheap that day too is because the estate sale had been going on for about two weeks at this point so they were really just trying to push as much things out as possible i like took one of the set and i of course washed it and i drank some sangria a couple days ago so i, I just felt very bougie drinking it and i can't wait until i actually put these up in my own home and i enjoy a nice glass of wine as little as my body allows it because I have IBS. My stomach is really sensitive. I can't tolerate alcohol very much, especially when it's sweet, which is unfortunate because that's the only type of alcoholic drinks I like, but it's fine. Okay, so these were the other items that I was going to show you guys. Look at how beautiful this is. This little dish set comes in a set of three. So and, and they actually still have the prices as well and they're a little dusty because they're just kind of out and about. This is the smallest one. Kind of looks a little something like this. Doesn't really have a brand on it either, but that's okay. You can just tell that it's like very durable. And then we've got the other one, the one in the middle, that seems to be more of a bowl. It's a lot wider, and this one was two dollars. And then finally we've got the big holder, which I'm not really sure that you can use this as like a holder. When initially I saw it, I thought, oh, is it maybe like to put cakes in? But I don't think so because it has a more of a dip on the bottom than the others do. So I don't know if you guys can kind of tell that it goes a little deeper. I'm not fully sure if this is more so just for for show. I've seen in other china cabinets that some people will put like a teapot kettle type thing over this but not fully sure what it's for so if you guys happen to know what this particular set consists of or what these pieces are for do let me know otherwise i will probably just use them front and center in the china cabinet um but yeah i don't know if i mentioned already but this one was five dollars i ended up paying about nine dollars for this so i was like over the moon as i said i get so happy whenever i find these really beautiful pieces of of like dishware especially when they're at such a good price it's insane normally you would pay so much more than just nine dollars for something like this and yet it's beautiful and then the well this is the same place where i bought like these and these so you can definitely tell that this person had such a beautiful sense of elegance and style so i deeply respect that and i'm really excited to bring it on to my my next home since i already have you guys here i'm gonna show you some um, random little things that i bought from another estate sale it was really cute they had a few oh no it's actually ripped oh no this bag is ripped let me just show it to you guys 
It's this beautiful flowery purse. I don't even know how much I paid for it. Honestly, like I just bought a, a few things and it came out to like $15, $20. Look at it, isn't it so cute? It's so colorful and beautiful. I could see myself wearing it with this shirt that I have on right now. Because <laughs> I have all these flowers. I just saw right now that it's ripped right here on the corner. I'm looking forward to washing it, to deep, deep washing this one. This estate sale is different from the cups and that I had just shown you guys. Apparently, um, the lady who had a lot of these items really loved cats. It was so sweet to see a lot of the items that she had because she had a lot of like little porcelain kitty cats. She had woven cats, like literally any kind of decoration you can think of cat related is what she had. As a lover of cats, I thought it was incredibly sweet that she had a ton of Beanie Babies. I think there was like a rise and fall of the Beanie Babies and how much they costed. At the moment that I bought them, I was like, oh, maybe they'll be worth something, but I was like, and they're used, they're old, um, I don't know that people will want to purchase them later on in the future. But still, I love kitty cats myself, so I just felt it was right for me to purchase some Beanie Baby kitty cats. Oh my god, look at this, it's so adorable. What is your name? Oh my god, I got a little starlet. Oh, it's from 2001. And this is what she says. Curled up snugly in your lap is where I'll take a little nap. And if you pet my long white fur, you'll be sure to hear me purr. Oh, I love this. I totally forgot that they had like a cute little rhyme poem thing. So, oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. And I thought this one was very unique because most of the Beanie Babies aren't as like fuzzy as this one is. So, that was really nice. We have a beautiful Siamese Meow Meow and her name is Siam. <laughs> Date of birth, October 19th, 2000. Ooh, she's a little older. And it says, she has a rather regal air. Other cats cannot compare. Standing straight and full of pride, you can't resist her deep blue eyes. Very, very nice little poem for this little cutie pie. <laughs> I talked to her like I talked to my actual cats. Oh, I thought she was missing some uh, whiskeys, but she's not. There they are, hiding. She's so beautiful, and she even came with this little collar. Oh my god, I love her, and I love how she really is standing up straight. Finally, I got a big guy to show you guys. Good old Chip. He's so big. Sorry, I get so excited when I talk about cats. <laughs> Even if they are just Beanie Babies. But I'll read this to you guys. So we got Chip the Beanie Baby. Due to the variety of colors and pattern shapes, is one of the most difficult to produce. It takes over 20 pieces to make Chip. Oh, so this one doesn't have a rhyme. <laughs> sad, but also not sad because apparently this one is a little bit more rare. It's very soft. I definitely need to give them some TLC in the way that I wash them. They were all kind of just like thrown together. Maybe these were about $7, the, the larger ones, but I can't fully remember. He's so cute. They're all like just so sweet looking. I feel like now I want to purchase more Beanie Babies. Remember when I was a kid, I used to have few and then even then like I think that they became really popular when McDonald's was putting them in the Happy Meals. So I got a few from there as well because our my dad we used to take us to McDonald's way too often when we were kids. This is my little state sale slash book marketplace, vintage fine china and other dinnerware type haul. So I'm very curious about your guys' thoughts. Are there any specific pieces that you really enjoyed uh, kind of looking through with me? Did you think the prices were fair? Did you think they were too low? <laughs> um, maybe a little high? Let me know. I would definitely love to know, especially if you guys have a wide array of knowledge when it comes to fine china and like the brands and everything. I would be very curious to know what you have to say. As I said before, I am just learning, so I'm trying to be respectful about all of the 
the, the things that I purchase. I have a very deep love for, you know, the people that create these amazing and beautiful pieces. I respect the people who have purchased them and the people who are able to pass it on to me for a little price. To me, it's like if you're able to get something of a beautiful quality that looks amazing and that just speaks to you. I think is the whole point of this. I just think it's so beautiful to be able to have these little pieces and for them to be talking points, you pass them on to your own family as you grow older and if they happen to find the love for these pieces as well. I just feel like that's so special. And let me know if you would like to see more of these types of videos. I know that they're a little bit different from what I normally post on my channel. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!